Hi, everybody. I hope you're doing well. Welcome to this week's Self Care Sunday, where I wanted today to address um, sleep, anxiety, and how anxiety is having an effect on our sleep. Now, I've mentioned in the past that for me, self care is just it's everything. Yes, we want our skin to look radiant and glowing and blemish free and no pigmentation and hydrated and lime free and all of that jazz you know and i'm always talking about products and i love that element of self-care and i think it makes you feel amazing and also look amazing of course but it goes deeper than that and i've always said that it's about wellness it's about diet it's about gratitude it's about all the things that kind of come together to create this kind of this this essence of well-being and self-care and sleep is so important it's just the most important thing it really is because if you're not sleeping well then you know your skin's going to start flaring up your hormones are going to start reacting um you start making bad choices with what you're eating um and it's just like a whole vicious cycle really for me so sleep is imperative it is one of the most important things and i think at the moment we've been in life in lockdown worrying about the future perhaps a little bit too much especially in the beginning um now we're worrying because we have to start going back to work and sort of start getting back into traveling on tubes buses trains commuting um you know how different the world is going to be now we're going out um there after life in lockdown so there's a lot of anxiety going on and i think you know sometimes i don't know if you're the same as me but my head starts to get more active towards the end of the day and then occasionally you're just lying there in bed just going like stuff going around and around and you just can't switch off and it is the worst feeling so there are a few things that I wanted to share with you that have been helping me so much now routine as I said to you before is so important you know it's um it's and it's it's almost like a baby when they have a routine so it's like your nighttime routine of winding down and slowing everything down and you need to kind of have a little bit of a pattern and to kind of develop that and to keep with it and it really does help I can't stress how important that is so for me, um, it's kind of like a staying off social media, which I know is quite hard, especially if you, you've been working all day and then you just want to get your fix of like scrolling and, and shopping and whatever it may be. Um, Insta stalking. I don't know, whatever, whatever takes, whatever tickles your pickle. So, you know, I do appreciate that, that, but the blue light from our devices, from our TVs, you know, that is really um, disruptive for our brain. And it helps to overstimulate, which is great in the daytime, you know, if you're wanting to do all that kind of thing. But, you know, if you want to wind down and have some sort of calming sort of sense to your evening and then you will notice such a big difference to your sleep. So bath time. Baths are so important. You know, it's it's you know, there's so many great products out there, you know, like lots of gorgeous bath oils and aromatherapy associates have some beautiful oils, de-stressing, unwinding, things like that. Um, I really like magnesium baths. Um, I've loved them forever. It's great for helping you feel quite sleepy and quite relaxed. You stay in a bath for about 20 minutes if you can. Um, it's great for muscle recovery if you have been working out and you feel quite sore. Also, if you haven't been sleeping and you just sort of, sometimes if you haven't been sleeping and then you do fall asleep and you kind of fall asleep for a short while in a funny position, you know, the next day you're all a bit achy. So magnesium is great for relaxing the body, great for relaxing the mind. And once you get into that sort of routine of like, your brain starts recognising baths going on, lower the lights, light some candles, you know, just stay off your phone, put some music on if you want. Just having that sort of like quiet time, just slowly winding down. Now, like I said, magnesium baths are what I love and you can get some great salts. You can get them in Holland and Barrett, you can get them on Amazon. You can get them in the big daddy sizes, which is what I did the other day. I made a bit of a mistake. I mean, this is five kgs. This is absolutely massive. And I mean, Jesus, that's not where can I? I've been using it as like a table um, or a stool because it's 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 bigger than I expected. And I didn't look at the quantities. It was a really good price. And I thought, yeah, I'll take that. And then when it arrived, I was like, OK, I better use that up quickly. Um, so you can get them on Amazon loads and loads of flakes and you just chuck them in the bath and you just sit in it for 20 minutes and you feel amazing um so that is a really good tip maybe start off with a slightly smaller one than that but if you already use them then that is a really good one that is a west lab west lab relaxing magnesium flakes and it actually says help calm and de-stress the mind and the body supports healthy sleeping patterns so it's about getting this like 
regularity, this pattern into your into your kind of psyche almost. Um, also, what I've been taking is Z CBD oil. Um, this is a great brand. This is Nature Can. Now, it's got no THC. You're not going to get high off of this, but it just really helps to calm the body, helps with the anxiety throughout the day. I take it a couple of times throughout the day. Um, and at night, especially, just to help everything just wind down and just to kind of quieten my mind. Um, they also do tablets as well. So have a look on the website and just kind of choose what you want. They also do great peanut butter and cookies as well. But that's not for before bed because that's got too much sugar in it. So you want to avoid sugar, you want to avoid caffeine and you want to avoid your phone. Anything that is overstimulating. Keep it calm, keep it quiet, keep it zen. Keep it, keep it CBD. Um, also, magnesium, I take this one. I take two before bed. Um, this is Viridin. Viridin. I don't know how you say that, but I love this brand. <laughs> I really like it. Um, high potency magnesium. Magnesium is amazing, obviously, to have in the bath, but also to take. Um, it's great also if you've got problems with your bowels, if you've been not being able to go to the toilet very regularly. This is really good for it. It helps to relax the stomach. But it's really good, again, for muscle recovery. It's really good at helping relax in the body. And I always get a really good night's sleep when I take my magnesium. But you still need to kind of follow the rules. You know, another thing that's annoying that kind of stops and interrupts my sleep is alcohol. Oh, it's so annoying. You know, so I know that. So I've been trying, trying, trying to limit my alcohol intake, which isn't always easy because the sun's been out and you sort of think, you know, you've worked all day and you think, oh, cheeky glass of wine, a couple of beers. But then I'll have a really crappy night's sleep. So I do know that I need to limit that. And then this little saviour is Renz, which is a great brand. It's a really lovely brand. Um, and this is a now to sleep pillow spray. So this is another little ritual. So you've done your bath, you've taken your magnesium tablets, you've got some water by your bed or like a puck of tea, nighttime tea, which are gorgeous as well, just to help. And it's just about having that routine and just following it, you know, to try and have that ritual. So you just start as the candles come on and the lights start to dip and you have your routine, your body just starts getting into this rhythm that that you know you're going to sleep and then this is incredible and you spritz it all over i put it all over all over my i'm actually in my bed right now put it all over my sheets all over my pillow and i just start getting really sleepy it's got frankincense oil which obviously helps to calm the mind it's got hops oil which helps you have a longer night's sleep and it's got lavender it's got some really gorgeous ingredients that just the smell of it and what happens is when you have this little routine, your mind just starts knowing that it's time to go to sleep. Like a baby, like I said, like when you used to bath a baby, give, give the little baby hot milk. It's the same rhythm and routine and that's all we need. So it's really simple steps. Stay off your phone, limit booze sometimes. Um, magnesium tablets, magnesium bath and then this pillow spray which I love is gorgeous now I know there's loads out there on the market but this is one I really really like and um what does it say calms and soothes and prepares let's see prepares for beauty sleep naturally scented so it's natural um it's a cruelty free like Ren is a really clean brand and I've got 20% off for you if you want to if you want to use my code it's Lisa and it's on most of the Ren range actually so you can have a little look on the website if you're a big fan of the brand um as I am they've got some great magnesium bath so uh, soaks as well a beautiful milky oil but I'll talk about that more in more detail but this is one that I'd use just to help you sleep and to get to sleep to switch your mind off and to stay asleep so that would be my top tips for anxiety for getting good sleep so that then we can deal with the challenges that come at us from day to day. You know, we need our sleep, we need our R&R, &R, we need to be able to switch off and to get that proper REM sleep, that deep sleep, um, just to help everything to heal and recover. So there'll be my top tips for anxiety and sleep-related anxiety, basically. So there we have it. Sending you love to you and yours. Stay safe, stay well.